to 157, and we make our way to 165, where over here on this map, we've got Joseph Mazzara of North Carolina against Maddie Singleton of NC State. And this one here is a matchup of age versus beauty. Fifth year senior versus a true freshman. Mazzara, the veteran, but Singleton, just the young buck, one of the top wrestlers in the nation last year, out of Georgia. Yeah, four, four time state champion from Woodward Academy. Yeah, so, um, you know, real storied program. And, and, you know, hearing Coach Papalizio say one of the reasons that he transitioned so well into college this year was because of one of the Bowler brothers decided not to take their sixth year of, of eligibility last year. And they went back to Woodward and they, you know, were in the room a couple days a week and training with Maddie. And, and the one thing I noticed and against McCoy in the semifinals was, you know, you could just, you could still tell that Singleton is kind of a spring chicken, right? He's still young. He, he kind of, I, I don't want to say inexperienced, but like you could just see McCoy was so savvy and, and you know, the years of experience competing in the, the college postseason really just paid off for him. He, you know, McCoy rode tough and, and won the scrambles against Singleton, but you know, I think this is a, a guy who's got a really, really bright future, but his future won't last long this season unless he gets a victory here over his foe from down the road. I'm not a geography guy, but what do you say? These campuses are separated by about 15 or so miles, maybe 20 miles. Yeah, maybe closer to 20, 25 or as I like to say in the Raleigh area, a Tar Heel Middle, everything is 40 minutes away. <laughs> You've, got a good the grasp. You've got a good grasp on the, the area a little bit. That's what that sounds like. We'll call that a Tar Heel Minute. <laughs> Singleton issued the stall warning there. So the two will reset. Pat Papaluzio. I think he just clarification. Yeah, I think he just wanted to invite the official over for Thanksgiving dinner. And, hey, what are you doing on Thanksgiving? You want to come to my house? And something tells me that's not what he was asking. <laughs> as nice of a guy as we know Pop to be, I do not believe that was the case. Well, it looks like Singleton kind of jammed his thumb there on that snap. And the the, looks like the official like kind of making him call. So are they gonna call stalling? What's going on? stalling on Green? Yeah, so that's gonna be on Mazzara. Uh, I'm I'm not following. That's okay. All righty, back to action. 44 <laughs> seconds left in the first period. It uh, looked like, I mean, Mazzara got Singleton all the way to the edge. Singleton jammed his finger. It looked like they were possibly going to call Singleton for stalling. And they stopped it for like an injury time, but Singleton didn't call injury time, so. Singleton trying to break free. Mazzara flips him over. Nothing there yet, and there is the two points for the takedown for Mazzara. And Singleton rolls through looking for a reversal, but... Wow, somehow Mazzara stays on top. That is an incredible effort to close out the first by Mazzara to not get reversed. That right there was a, was a four-point ride. Mazzara used the, you know, something that Singleton seen probably far too many times, being a teammate of Trent Hidley over under position, drops to a knee, jacks the underhook up, pulls that left arm down on that whip over. But that right there at the end of the second period, or first period was huge, right? I, I call that a four-point ride, because 
you know, you, you keep your two-point lead instead of evening up the score. So, you know, that's a four-point swing right there. Was out of bounds. And Mazzaro is just finding the, the trickiest little ways of staying on top, like pushing to the edge and kind of rolling through on that leg. Well, you saw the official. That was very close to being the red wristband up in the air for one. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was close, but no cigar. Singleton to his feet, fighting the hands. Trip from Mazzara. But... And Singleton getting a little chippy. He's like, man, get off of me. Mazzara's like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to, bro. We came to wrestle. I want to stay on top. Does a good job of following through, and Singleton says, get out of here. And there's Singleton finally getting the escape. Papalizio may have invited, invited the official over for Thanksgiving dinner. I don't believe Singleton will invite Mazzara over for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Although we do have other holidays in between, so maybe the 4th of July party. So 2-1 after Mazzara builds 46 seconds of riding time. And, and this, is, this is what I love more than anything. You know, those guys just standing right on top of the ACC wrestling logo, hand fighting, I call it fighting in a phone booth. And a single leg for Singleton. Right to the very edge. And here you gotta get that foot off the mat because here you're still fighting the head hands defense. Of Mazzara doing a good job of keeping his head in there. Singleton tries to lift the foot and wrestle on the edge. And, and one thing I will tell you, if I had a dollar for every time I heard these, whoa! And that one is also out of bounds. Just a couple weeks away from freestyle season, folks. In freestyle, that's a four-point move. But in folk style, we just get a couple of oohs and ahs. That's a little judo whip over for Mazzara. Mazzara, the Vegas guy. I think maybe he learned a little bit of judo at Randy Couture's MMA school or something. Yeah, the Bishop of Gorman High School. And, and that concludes the second. Two to one remains the lead for Mazzara. You don't typically hear, you know, Las Vegas being a wrestling powerhouse, but they're really starting to come along. Um, Gold Rush Wrestling Academy, run by uh, former NCAA finalist Chase Pammy, and, and there's another one, I think it's like ACA or something like that, run by, uh, run by a guy who was a former Triple Crown winner, Jade Rouser, Val, sorry, Val Rouser. Uh, Jade's out in Montana, but Val's, you know, running an academy out there and as a uh, club coach myself, I really just love to see the, the growth of club wrestling across the country uh, because we really just see a, a really big opportunity to, to help out these untapped markets. And a chin whip! Two for Singleton. Ooh. One is still in. And it's out now. Wow. And he's rewarded the four. And Singleton, just a little bit of swagger to him after that, pushing towards the edge, double leg by Mazzara. And if you love third grade wrestling, here we go, chin whip. Oh, man. I'll never forget when I got hit with that move in sixth grade. It still haunts me to this day. Seems like something that would make quite the impression long term. That's and a big, big swing for Maddie Singleton. And, and he gets two more there. Mazzara tries a little bit of desperation, but not at this level. Now with a guy of this caliber. And he'll escape and runs his feet to 9 4 now. And this right here is, you know, kind of where you look yourself in the mirror 
Say, what do I got? I feel like Elon Musk walking into the uh, headquarters of Twitter just with everything but a kitchen sink. Literally the kitchen sink. Literally the kitchen sink. <laughs> Let's see what that includes for Joey Maz. Shot attempt for Singleton. This is where you hit a peek out. Right elbow back. Sit through. Stalemate at Singleton atop. Mazzaro running out of time. This is where you know you need a little bit of just desperation. Like, what can I do here? Throw a headlock. There he goes, Fire shooting low. low. And this is where you're saying to me, you just bail, right? You give it up. Yeah, Mazzara yeah, gets the two points there for the start. takedown. And this is here, headlock. Uh, he was giving it to you. Protect your neck. Mm. Now, 10 to 6. And that will be the final. Great effort from Matty Singleton, who advances to the third place bout. So the freshman looked for an opportunity to make it 10 for the Wolfpack going to NCAAs. And a good one going on on mat number one. If